So let's move into um, my favorite movie of this, maybe ever. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this movie's fucking great, uh, in my opinion. Phantasm Three: Lord of the Dead from 1994. Um, Mike and Reggie continue to hunt the mysterious tall man, discovering along the way that, that the invasion has already begun. Mm-hmm. Written and directed by Don Coscarelli. Uh, do you have any information, Jason? Tagline, if you don't get it this time, he'll have to drill it into your head. Distributed by Starway International and Anchor Bay. And um, most recent Blu-ray from WellGo USA 2018. Yeah, so you got the the original cast back. He, um, you got Reggie Bannister as Reggie, Michael Baldwin as Mike, and Bill Thornberry as Joey Jody. Uh, gotta say, it's great to have the cast back. Uh, the seems band like is back. Bill Bill has lost yeah. quite a bit of Love hair it. on top since his death, but that's fine because he's back. <laughs> how many? Yeah, how many years has it been? It's from uh, first to third. Over a, 1994 it was it's like almost 20 years right when, when was so, it so get cut him some slack yeah i'm saying no, it's it was like good. 15 years like 15 years yeah right uh, i don't know whatever and and i'll t- and reggie must have realized you if you remember i said why'd he throw his shotgun away evidently he realized that uh he should have went back he must have went back and got it because he has it at the beginning of this movie it kicks off with a great segment involving uh <laughs> some uh some shotgun play uh and there's an awesome demon nurse sequence uh, right at the beginning of this movie too um the great special effects uh this uh they call i guess we find out they're called sentinels the 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 orbs uh in this movie it bursts out of this uh nurse's head it looks it comes out looks at mike with its weird eyeball it's uh it's great just mm-hmm. right out of the bat um, I love it. I love everything about this. When Reggie's driving through the Holtzville wasteland, it's just it sets a great mood. Um, there's a lot of great characters: the shitbag criminals, uh, the murderous child Tim, who kills the shitbag criminals <laughs> uh, in some fun Kevin McAllister type ways. Um, I'm assuming Kevin McAllister meets Jigsaw. <laughs> I'm assuming. I'm seriously assuming that that is because of the Home Alone craze. Like both the first two movies had come out at this time, and they were like, let's put a little Home Alone flavor in there. Um, and then you got Rocky, who's awesome. She's got nunchucks, which are breaking all the time <laughs> but still badass um and you know it's, a, it's great it's even got reggie sitting by a fireplace with a kid he seems to find himself in this situation a lot of times kind of weird reg just saying uh there was several times while i was watching this i was like reggie what are you doing God, you're not gonna have <laughs> sex with that chick she's not gonna have sex with you <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> um, oh uh, man one of the cool things I read was that they actually used a mausoleum for this, so it's yeah, cool, that really wasn't cool. no uh, plywood or what, yeah, whatever yeah. it was. Or... But it's also kind of weird that they did a phantasm movie amidst actual dead people. But you know, whatever. Um, all I could think about when Reg, Re, Reggie tries to get rid of this kid, this kid like gloms onto him. He like <laughs> he takes him to an orphanage and like gives literally all of his money to this woman and then the kid sneaks into his car and he drives away all i kept thinking was why the fuck did you give all your money away reggie all the rest of the world doesn't operate like the the tall man is chasing them you're gonna need that money you know i would have went back after i found out the kid was with me but of course he finds he has more money later on he pulls it out so fuck me i'm stupid um (laughs) I, i don't remember when he pulled it out but um yeah, Reggie is sort of a terrible person a few times in this. He leaves the Tim out to sleep in the car um, while hey, there's... The whole car. He was being nice. He was giving him the whole car. But there's fucking all kinds it's of little desert, man. dwarfs around, dude. Yeah. There's dwarfs everywhere, he man. Had, he had alternative motives. Yeah, he, he says, you ever try a little vanilla? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, I just, the thing about this movie is there's always something happening on screen that's really cool. Even small moments like uh, when, you know, Reggie's driving around the, the Cuda from the first movie, like through the whole thing. Um, uh, there's a, you know, there's everything, the demonic severed hands that, that, uh, 
you know, there's uh, there's just so much shit. The the uh, the the criminals come back as zombie kind of things. <laughs> um, it's a great ending. Uh, it's really weird that they ended it the way they do on kind of a cliffhanger because I read that Coscarelli said he had just run out of ideas and the only reason they would do a part four is if for a payday. So I haven't seen four. Um, we're, we'll be watching oblivion soon, I assume, but yeah, you will. Um, I give this a 10 out of 10, <laughs> man. This is like uh, my kind of movie. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen in four because it was four years later and Tim's still alive. Do they deal with that at all? Or does he just disappear? <laughs> are you, do you want to know? No, well, no, 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 no. Do they deal with it though? Do they deal with it at all? Like, do they bring him up or at all? No. <laughs> okay. I mean, you asked. <laughs> I mean, you if, they brought, if they brought him up, I, I didn't want to know what they did with him, but, you know. Okay. Okay, so I'll go. So is this one, is this, this one seems a little bit more sillier than the first two. It's more fun, I don't know if they, for sure. Yeah, I don't know if they, like, well, let me just say this. <clears throat> I've heard people crap on this movie about how, it, it doesn't it, it doesn't answer anything from the, the, the first two. It's not as uh, serious or it don't have the same feel as phantasm. And these these people are they're just they're fun they're funny to me. It's <laughs> like, I don't understand I don't even understand where they're where they're coming from. Uh, this I had a lot of fun with this movie. I mm-hmm. like this movie a lot. Um I, I'm, I didn't go in and check. I'm guessing this is a bit more of a lower budget than yeah, oh yeah. First two. They they had to make it on their own, and then they got help distributing it because okay. it, they had no help. <laughs> and, but then I, then I so but I hear people crap on on well the the, the the effects aren't as good. This isn't as good. Well, it was a lower budget movie, but I don't know. To me, this feels like it's a solid entry in this. The, Phantasm yeah. right now is the first three entries are awesome, just as good as any other franchise out there. Maybe mm-hmm. the best. Um, I I don't feel like there's much of a drop off in, in this movie at all. Um, I like that we have the original characters back. It's just there's there's so much stuff in this that I like. I don't. It's just kind of you know, it's, it's the same thing. There's not much of a, a, a plot change. I mean, I, but I, it does answer some of the questions from the first two. Right? Every like movie just, adds to the next. Every movie, every yeah, new like movie it, makes it the past showed, two, uh, the past ones look better. Like you it know, showed how they. I don't know. Well, it didn't show how, but it showed the, the small, them shrinking it down and uh, mm. extracting the brain, like that was answered. We got the answer from the, the, the spheres. I like. I thought it answered some questions. Um, mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing the four, uh, the fourth one. Uh, I don't. I think I've I've seen one through three, and then Ravager. I don't think I've seen four. Um, I give this an eight. I think it's very solid. One through three, can't recommend enough. Right on, right on. So you said, Jason, this was the first time for you, or not? No, I've seen I've seen this before. I mean, oh, one, you two, have three. seen this before. All right, Frank. So this was your. Yeah, maybe. Your like I said, time. like I probably rented this back in the '90s or whatever, like VHS days. Yeah, um, but that time. would have been when I watched it. You know, All twenty right. some years ago or whatever. Yeah. So, like, Phantasm is my favorite franchise. So, spoiler alert: Oblivion's next. <laughs> All right, but um. I remember in, was this 94, right? 94 yep. just came yep. out. My cousins owned, owned a <clears throat> video store at the time, like literally five minutes down the road from us. Wow. I walked in and saw that crazy bright red poster with a close-up of the tall man literally missing his left eye because it's closed so much. You know, there's no white in it at all. Mm. And holding the ball, and I'm like, 
fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. I, was like, I was like, Dad, we're renting this. Get this. This. Mm-hmm. Phantasm mm-hmm. 3. And I watched it. Uh, I loved it. Mike was back. I like, dude, I was 90, 94. How, how old was I? I don't even know how old I was. I was grade school. I was 12. So, all right, so then I was like... I was born in 82. All right, so I was 13. 12 or 13. I don't know. Whatever. I'm old. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I was super geeked about it. Um, and then Jody's back? What? Like, that was rad. I was like, all right. The literal band has, has gotten back together, and I'm super geeked about it. Um, Angus Scrim gets cooler looking as he gets older. My favorite look of him is in Oblivion. Mm. That is my, it, like, in the, we'll talk about it, but that's, he just, he gets, he, he just, it's like he turns into the character. In that book I was reading, before we we got connected that's the phantasm exhumed that mm-hmm. talks about one through four because ravager hadn't been released yet when this came out uh it's got like personal diary entries from angus scrim talking about how he like gets into the the role of the tall man like he talks about the tall man literally taking over him and then you know he has to deal with it extra past shooting times you know and then oh, it eventually yeah. goes away so he had like a really cool method, and he has more lines in this than he has in any of the uh-huh. other movies too. He has like oh, a yeah. whole monologue, um, which is really cool. Uh, cool little Easter egg at the beginning uh, when they zoom into Mike at the on the hospital bed. That's the lady in lavender, and in rereading this book tonight, I found out the doctor that was looking in on him from the mm-hmm. top down was was the tall man. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I totally forgot about that detail. I, I have to watch it again and see that. Um, another thing I really liked, obviously, the, the dwarves getting made, the spheres getting made. Awesome. I was like, sweet. We're getting, at the time, I was <laughs> like, we are getting closer and closer and closer to seeing what the tall man is all about. We're getting just closer and closer. And I'm so excited. Um, what is, uh, you also get a look at the, the tall man's like inner sanctum. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? He's so mysterious. Oh, you never see where he's like hanging out. It's like, he's like in his off hours. He's like, you know, evil queen in it up seeing it in the the reflection in the ball or like the <laughs> goblin king you know like it was it was it was super cool like no one can play that part but angus Grimm, but there are some close seconds um tim was an homage to mike the young mike mm. um they just wanted a kid in the movie again because uh, you know they it played so well before um uh, what about the uh, <laughs> the razor blade frisbee? That's the that's so awesome. Is that not awesome? That was a good kill. That yeah. was hilarious. But that the the throat cut though. Mm-hmm. That the way that that it, you could see the sack, like almost like the, the the little small layer over the muscle. Like holy shit! Yeah. Mark Showstrom did the effects. It was him and just one other guy that did the effects on this because the budget was so low. They did a great job. I mean, the, the, yeah. everything that happens in that house, like the there's a hatchet, right? Is that what happens to the, the, one with the yeah? yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That looks great. Everything, everything. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, and and Rocky, Rocky was great. Um, I mean, now I the thing I, 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 I do did, like the thing about the, I love this movie. the Rocky Red Reggie relationship. Did they have sex, or was that just a dream that was that happening? Was a dream. Okay, because it kind of went into a dream, and then he was talking to Jody through the orb or whatever. Right, right. Which right, that was gr- that one of the coolest th- scenes in it is when um, it's Reggie and Mike. Is it Mike? Reggie, Mike, and they have, they're holding that orb and they're running uh, down this hallway. I think I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. it was just really cinematic, and it was like there's the heroes right there, you know. Yep. 
and it was really cool how Jody kept coming back and like talking to them and giving them like insight into stuff and uh, uh, you know a sentinel turned good you know that, that was a cool idea but oh yeah and and like the spheres were a lot more elaborate this time around mm-hmm. not only do you get to see them get made but like um they barrel rolled and shit because they they um they got wireless remotes for this one and was like able to control them on like a string mm. and get a little bit more freedom instead of just literally throwing it down the hall and playing it. Right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, like they still did that in the scenes. There's a, there's a good amount of like behind the scenes stuff on the Blu-ray. Um, just on the disc itself, not on the, like the specials disc, you know, in the box set. Um, the twist at the end for me, was like mind blowing. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know if we want to get into spoilers or not, but it was a, it was crazy. Well, crazy. yeah, and, it, and like I, I said, I it's it. it's a cliffhanger. And when yeah, did Oblivion was. come out? Ninety nine. Yeah, so you had to wait Oblivion fucking five years to find out what the hell happened. And, and they didn't then even... <laughs> Ravager. How many yeah. years for Ravager? God's... Almost thirty. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Um, yeah, this this is my um, phantasm. This is my third favorite in the series. I guess that's appropriate. Right. Um, so I still, but I still give it a nine. It's a nine. Only one. Know, <laughs> like man. one. This one, one was ten. so much more me, fun for than me, for one me, for, for me. me. I was like, this is a fucking fireworks show. Um, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I don't oh, what about the, the, what about the complain about it. Yeah, no. Nah. What about at the beginning yeah, yeah. of the, contra, the Contra spread rifle yeah. four-barrel shotgun that takes mm-hmm. out the three dwarves? Like, that yeah. Was Those dwarves, I think the dwarves yeah, look... They just, they just drop... Right, they're all <laughs> over the place, too. Like, they just spread out. <laughs> yeah. I think they looked a lot better in this for... I mean, oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe that was just me, but... Oh. And I really liked how they um, they blended the end of two together. Mm-hmm. They they the way they cut Mike in where he needed to be, and then they used Liz where they needed to use her, and then dispatched her. Yeah, like that yeah. was pretty cool. Very cool. But shit. yeah, this is this is this is I could talk about this for like way longer than we need to talk yeah, about since it. we started wa- <laughs> since we started watching these movies though it's become one of my favorite franchises like oh i'm glad and it was awesome. it was something i think i i took for granted like because i know i've seen i know I, I know i've seen these movies like but you know you watch so much shit when you're a teenager like you have so much time to just consume movies and i think we but, all and, and if four if four came you said four came out in 99 yeah 98, like 99, so yeah. yeah i i was going through that phase where if it wasn't from the 70s or 80s it, it wasn't true horror so that explains why i watched one through three i skipped four and then randomly we re-reviewed part five See, but i fucking waited i anticipated i wanted these sequels you know what i mean like three was a surprise because i didn't know it was even being made i wasn't in all at that age i wasn't like into fangoria and all that you would have had to be to find out that information right yeah so the poster is what sold it to me and then um yeah phantasm (laughs) <laughs> you guys, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm we're we're spreading the love here because this is a this is my favorite franchise. I love it. Yeah, and a fun fun thing you can find. You know, if you get into Phantasm, you can go on YouTube and you can find all this music that uh, like it's i i've seen several different versions of uh the song from the first one uh where it's reggie and jody uh mm. singing what is that at midnight or something sitting, like sitting here yeah. at midnight yeah i've seen them do it at several conventions Good. it's a great song reggie's music he's got a whole lot of music uh some of it mm-hmm. some of it i like a lot some of it i could do without you know it's not my jam really but he's definitely he's, he knows what he's doing 